uh, I'm back with, again, special guest Ben Garrison. Whoop, whoop. And they were going to fill you in on our ratings on San Diego. Um, so we're going to try and use the same categories as we did with Austin. The only difference being that we forgot to give you the weather rating of Austin. Yes, yes. It's very important. The weather in Austin is absolutely fantastic in the winter months. Um, so... Uh, as a quick uh, update, we will give Austin a weather uh, rating of, I think, two? Was it two? Yeah, two. Yes. Because six months of the year, it's <clears throat> bad. Uh, in comparison, San Diego, very, very nice, uh, breezy. Of course, we were cl close to the beach, so that helps that somewhat. Yeah. yeah. It did rain one day when we were in San Diego, and uh, the, the San Diego subreddit just blew up trying to remind people how to drive when it was raining, how to live while it was raining. So if that gives you any sense of what the weather is like in San Diego, um, it'll make sense why we're rating it a five. five. Uh, moving on to uh, arts and culture. We experienced some really cool places Balboa Park being one big one. I cover a lot of what we did in Balboa Park in my other video about San Diego, but I'd say that's where we saw the majority of, I guess, like arts and culture. There are certainly other museums, like we went to the Midway Museum, but we didn't spend as much time seeking out like local art, you know, beyond just like seeing murals around town as much as we did in Austin. Yeah, so to sum up arts and culture of San Diego, four. four. Uh, next, the restaurant scene. So um, we were only there for about a month, ate out like a decent bit for being there for a month. We really enjoyed the seafood scene. We had some really good poke and some really good like fish sandwiches while we were there. We tried a couple Mexican places that weren't amazing compared to what we had experienced in Austin or on our Southwest trip on the way to San Diego. And compared to what we were expecting in San Diego. San Diego is like, you know, 10 minutes from the border with Mexico. So you expect uh, a large influence all over the place. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we, we sort of struck out on our two attempts at Mexican food there. So um, all in all, pretty, pretty good uh, food options in San Diego. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna round it out with a solid four. Uh, moving on to neighborhoods. So obviously the closer you get to the beach, um, the, the more expensive that is. Um, that's a, obviously a big draw to the area. Yeah. Um, as you get further out to the east, I think, and, and suburbs, um, you can find some more affordable stuff. Um, but, but they're very suburby. They're not, you yeah. know, walkable or uh, bikeable to places that you might want to go. Right. So uh, for this category, we're giving San Diego a two. two. Um, outdoor activity scene. So of course there's the beach and if you like the beach there's a lot to do you know surfing running on the beach we saw people parasailing and boating um so tons to do there if you want to do non-beach or water activities you can go to the east and there actually are you know some decent kind of mountainous areas that get much colder that have uh, hiking um Laguna Mountains is not far away. Um, jo Joshua Tree is not far away. It's like a couple hours, you know, yeah. a weekend trip. You can get, you know, out to more deserty areas and stuff as well. Um, skiing, there's not really any options. I think there's one that's maybe kind of east of LA, four or five hours away. We were more beach people and enjoyed water sports uh, a lot more as our primary hobbies and pastimes. Mm -hmm. This would probably be a much higher rating um, yeah. given the, the beach and the weather and everything. Mm -hmm. um, but as it is not, uh, we're gonna give San Diego's outdoor activity scene a three. Um, day trips and weekend trips. Um, and this is basically just evaluating, you know, we're gonna live in a place, but when we want to get away for a weekend and go mm -hmm. do something, um, what are all the options and kind of what do we have available? So I already mentioned Joshua Tree and uh, Laguna Mountains and a couple other national parks. And then obviously from a city perspective, Los Angeles is I think three hours away and then Tijuana, Mexico is like 15 minutes away. So um, <laughs> if that is, uh, uh, those are basically your city options if yeah. you wanna get away somewhere. From a day trip, weekend trip kind of option, we're gonna give it a 3.5. Um, traversability. So this category is really about getting around within the city. And uh, for this, we found 
it was pretty good, you know, especially where we were staying pretty near the beach. Uh, there was a ton of stuff that was walkable. Um, bikeability was pretty good too. There were bike paths. I saw people biking with carrying all sorts of stuff, including <laughs> surfboards, multiple surfboards at times. Yeah. Um, so in that sense, it was really good. However, you definitely need a car to get around and traffic was pretty rough. All in all, we give traversability a four. four. Um, moving on to some just kind of fun facts about uh, San Diego and what we did there. Um, I actually spent a, a couple days doing some surfing. Pretty challenging, um, to be honest, uh, as an activity, but I guess once you get into it, it's a little better. But um, but uh, it was fun for a couple days. What was interesting is we were staying basically right under a flight path and the airport in San Diego is in the middle of the city. Um, so there were kind of planes flying over us all the time and beyond just the commercial airport uh, because there's a huge naval base there. Other parts of San Diego that you might be in, you would see like these Mil military planes yeah. flying around everywhere, which is just kind of amazing. Yeah, plus or minus, it's kind of cool to see, but I can mm -hmm. see how that might get annoying over time. Yeah. Same kind of thing with ships. Like there are so many ships coming in and out of the San Diego Harbor and what with uh, the naval base being there, like a lot of these are military ships as well, not just all the recreational sailboats um, or other kinds of boats that you would see. San Diego was like a hillier city than we expected. I think I was imagining like the beach towns of the East Coast that are like Florida or yeah. the Outer Banks <laughs> that are just like flat. Uh, but San Diego would have the beach and then a couple blocks away have these super steep hills that started leading into neighborhoods. So that was pretty amazing and reminded me a lot of Seattle or San Francisco, these other very like Pacific coast cities. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that's most of, uh, you know, our experience in San Diego. We did love it. We did enjoy it. Um, yeah. Romeo had a great time on the dog beach, uh, which was uh, 100 yards away from us, so that was super nice. That concludes our review of San Diego. Next up, we'll be giving you more info about Sacramento. Yeah. Thanks for joining. Bye.